Hello friends, this is Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. We are out here at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights once again, and we're going to take a look at another scare zone. This is Swamp of the Undead. And this is a really, really dark scare zone at night, and it's really hard to see things. So I'm going to try and do my best to catch some of it. I'm also going to show you some in the daylight so you can sort of see what it looks like. But anyway, come take a look at Swamp of the Undead. This swamp is filled with dead people. And I'm going to show you some in the day and at night. Uh, in the day when you go through here, you can see how campy this area is. And I love campy zombies. These are some very campy zombies. They look like they came out of the Tales from the Crypt comic books or, you know, the old EC horror comics. Uh, just lots of silly fun. And I wish that you could see this uh, better at night because there's not a lot of light. I, this this zombie right here just will not let up on these girls. These girls <laughs> cannot get away from them. Um, but it's super fun. But when you turn out the lights, while it does get atmospheric and creepy and has a very, very cool look, it's just way too dark to see the monsters. You know, you can see that, well, there's a, there's a dead guy, but you really can't see what he looks like. Uh, and, and I like that campy, there's a little bit in the light, you can sort of see him. I love that campy look to them. There's alligators, you know, you're in Florida. Um, but like I said, the lighting is very cool. It's just way too dark for the monster. Now, now, that I guess makes it scarier for people because the monsters have more places to hide in the dark. They can scare you better when they jump out from any corner that they could be hiding in. But I also like to see them. And... You get to see little flashes of them here and there, like you just did that guy right there, if they happen to walk through a patch of light. Um, otherwise, they're just sort of shadows and silhouettes, like that guy right there. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but still a, a cool little scare zone. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe one of the better this year. Um, the, the scare zones the past couple of years have just been, I don't know, like they seem like an afterthought to Halloween horrors, and the scare zones in, in previous years, you know, uh, when we go a few years back, were much more detailed, much more fun, but this is kind of like, let's just, uh, I don't know, let's just throw some stuff out there, and uh, put some monsters around it, and, and that'll be fine, and uh, and that's sort of what they, they did this year. Even the torture fair that you can see another video on my channel uh, about, um, while the torture fair has a lot more going on in it, um, it's still kind of sparse for what they used to do. But anyway, there's a look at some dead people in the swamp. There you go. That's a look inside the Swamp of the Undead Scare Zone here at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights for 2024. Keep watching this channel for more and more videos about scare zones and haunted houses and specialty foods and stuff like that. We're going to have them all Halloween season long. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.